Cells in both animals and plants possess specialized components or organelles that are called mitochondria. Mitochondria are considered the cell's powerhouse, where a molecule called ATP is produced. ATP molecules are able to capture and store large amounts of energy which the cell can release and use to power its various operations. The ATP molecule acts like the fuel of the cell, and it is the main source of power to keep cells operational and alive. One cell will contain thousands of mitochondria, and each has various structures and components within it. However, we will be restricting our attention to just a few relevant parts related to certain energy harvesting activities. In particular, mitochondria contain an inner fluid called the mitochondrial matrix that is contained by an inner membrane layer. There is also an outer membrane that surrounds the inner membrane, which includes a space between called the intermembrane space. The components and the machinery in the form of protein complexes to produce ATP are embedded within the inner membrane. One part of this process is called electron transport, which involves releasing energy to pump protons out of the mitochondrial matrix. These protons are used to set up a proton gradient across the inner mitochondrial membrane, which will power the second part of the process. The second part of the process is called oxidative phosphorylation, which uses the proton gradient to power a protein complex called ATP synthase that manufactures the ATP molecules. Within the inner membrane, there are four different complexes labeled one through four, which are large multi-protein structures, as well as two smaller intermediate transport molecules. This is what we call the electron transport chain, or ETC. These structures, along with ATP synthase, are ancient. They are used across animals and plant cells, as well as bacterial cells. In bacteria, there are no mitochondria, so these mechanisms are embedded directly in their cell membranes. We said there were thousands of mitochondria, and each mitochondria has thousands of ETCs, so there are millions of ETC pathways in one cell. If the cell acts like a little factory, then the protein complexes in the ETC act like nanoscale machines.